guys, welcome to today's video. So these are questions and answers and I have some interesting things to discuss as well. I love to write back to everybody, that is my goal and sometimes things get busy. I do have another job, so it's a little crazy. So I still wanna get back to everybody. So if you guys like this idea, let me know and I could do this maybe once a month or something and try and get caught back up on everything I haven't been having, having a chance to write back to and things like that. If you like it, let me know. If not, let me know. Uh, anyway, so uh, first off, I want to thank Scotty from LA. He sent me a small hoard of his products. Um, he said, thank you for the content info and last. And he sent me some of the products that just didn't end up working out for him that he had some backups of and things like that. So I'm absolutely so appreciative. So they are not going to go to waste. I can give them uh, most of them or I'll seal them brand new. So some of them I'll give away um, at, in the giveaway for the newsletter. So if you haven't checked out the newsletter, be sure to check that one out. Pretty high chance of winning. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. So thank you so much, uh, Scotty, for sending me those. It's wonderful. And I'm so happy to be able to make use of them. You know what I mean? Especially the stuff, it doesn't last forever. So uh, it's good to make use of it. If it doesn't work for you, usually they find a way to make it to make use of it instead of just throwing it away. I have to wonder how many influence get influencers these huge ones just get so much stuff and what they do with them or if they sell them or i don't know anyway so thank you the other uh interesting uh card i got was from liz and she is actually a nurse practitioner and she she had some comments actually about my eyes and i was mentioning things about my eyes the other day in a video and she as a nurse practitioner mentioned to get your thyroid checked and this is interesting because I don't think I've really talked about this much, but um, actually my family has some a history of thyroid things going on with them in my family tree. So I actually have this and I was, I've had this now for a few months and I took it about a year ago, my thyroid, and it was way out of whack. And so I started taking a thyroid supplement and things like that, took the test again six months later and it was okay. And now I have another one to take it again six months later. So Liz is, she should be like a doctor a high-end doctor because the fact that she knew to check this is amazing to me. You know what I mean? It's it's almost like uh, almost like a psychic connection, but it's not psychic because it's just based on experience and knowledge. So anyway, I'm gonna take this one. I'll let you guys know what the results are. So hopefully my thyroid is in check, but you never know. So and it's a big family history with it. So anyway, yeah. So that is so so smart, amazing. My mom was a nurse as well, and. She worked in the maternity ward and just the amazing stories about babies and things like that or just, I don't know. I couldn't do that job. You know what I mean? Because not only do you have to be as smart as the doctors, but you also have to deal with everybody with everything they come up with and every little question they have and sometimes people when they're angry. So it's amazing. So, and you know, honestly, my mom is a nurse. I don't think she was a huge fan of a lot of the doctors. There was a couple that she really liked and got along well with, but some of them she just was not a fan of. I don't know. Anyway. Okay. On to some other questions. Uh, Carla uh, met, left a comment earlier today. Thanks to you, I just purchased the TNS serum and I've been using it twice a day for one week and I'm already shocked at the results. Also using tretinoin and sunscreen. And this stuff is, it, it's one of the few products I also say along with the Geek and Gorgeous Apad Serum where it's something like instant results, amazing. Like you could tell the difference. I'm not ever prize that experience, but some people do. So it's really nice. So that one is worth checking out if you can get it on sale. I wouldn't pay full price for it because it's ridiculously expensive, but if you can get it on sale or sign up for some of the cash back websites because sometimes Derm Store... Um, I'll have it like 20% off and then sometimes it'll be like a 10% cash back. So it ends up being even more savings and things like that. Or if you're on a budget, Revive Serum is great too. Um, okay. Oh, I commented on a bone smashing video and I talked about how to get self-esteem. You don't get self-esteem from how you look. It's what you do, how you treat things and what you do to provide good for, good for the world. And somebody else has commented, uh, Satu. 9679. I have one more self esteem tip there to mention dogs, the unconditional love and trust, cuddles and kisses. Surely I must be an okay person to deserve all that. And it's the only thing in my life that's always happy to see me. There's nobody else that's always happy to see me. Well, I will say sometimes I get annoyed that I've left him for like an hour or two, but he's still happy to see me, usually. And I will get, he'll get revenge, usually. So, 
Uh, okay, another one. Little Pitbull, uh, Little's the Pitbull commented, um, came here to see a review and about, it was about the Tatcha Peony eye cream. And they were looking for a nice hydrating eye cream. And um, these are two of my current favorites. And uh, the Casa Rex Snail Peptide Eye Cream has always been a favorite for years now. And lately I've been testing the Bubble Morning Rays Brightening Eye Cream and they're both really wonderful, very hydrating uh, and really work nice morning or evening on your skincare routine. So these are a couple things I'd recommend. Um, yeah, so, and they also said um, they switched to using a CeraVe night cream and uh, it was drying their, their eyes and thought maybe it's a nice cinnamide in them. And I think some people definitely find nice cinnamide to be drying especially since a lot of products end up using it. So you might end up getting more of it than is good for your skin because it's in almost everything now. So something else to consider, but these are two wonderful products. Okay, next up, Blue Curly Girl. Uh, so yeah, somebody, another comment about the bone smashing video. It's terribly sad that people actually break their bones to improve their looks. And then they commented on mewing. If you don't watch the video, check it out. It didn't do very well, but I mean, I didn't know I was a mewer, so... Uh, so they're also a mewer. And uh, the mewing is now when you keep your tongue at the roof of your mouth. And I've just done that naturally for so long. But she also said she also is epileptic and seizures. She bites her tongue. And uh, because of the mewing, it didn't, she, the last one she had didn't, uh, she didn't bite her tongue. So I had a couple of those as a reaction to medicine. So I, I cannot imagine going through that often because, man, it's the weirdest thing ever. If you've ever had one. You know what, the uh, last time I went to see a movie, somebody in the theater had one, and man, I just, I felt terrible for them. You know what I mean? They stopped the movie, and uh, yeah, so anyway. If you've ever had them, I, my heart goes out to you because they're just, and a lot of the medicines to try and treat them are just not that great uh, in terms of how you feel and you get tired and things like that, so. Um, let's see, okay, so Little Pitbull left another comment about Altrino. She was saying her Altrino lotion was very watery um, and asked me if I ever had that issue with it and then asked about perhaps keeping it in a fridge and interesting I did some research on it uh, retinoids do not keep well in the fridge unlike almost every other skincare product um, the lower temperature can up degrading it more but almost every other skincare ingredient is better off in a fridge especially like ascorbic acid and vitamin C and um, yeah so I don't have any liquid texture to mine at all but Perhaps it's a bad batch or something like that. It's worth checking out. Remember the very first time I filled mine, I got it home and I looked and it expired like three months ago. So I called the pharmacy and asked them to fill it again. And then the next tube I got also, it's from the same batch that expired. So I had to call them and get it in. So um, anyway, so they this the brand had sent uh, a new tube of it, <clears throat> excuse me, and it had the same issue. So I almost wonder if it's a bad batch or something like that. I don't know, but... Keeping it in the fridge is probably not the best. Keeping it in the bathroom is also not great. So it's a very high maintenance ingredient. Just, just like the way I am. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Next up. Uh, oh, the Monica Gale regarding the Can Make Mermaid sunscreen. Uh, said, which is the uh, original version with no scent? Is the original version your favorite? And I... Personally, out of all the uh, can make sunscreens, the original version is my favorite. The yellow comes in a close second, the purple third, the white being last. So hopefully, fingers crossed, they'll keep the purple and yellow uh, permanently. At this point, it's supposed to be a limited edition. So, uh, Okay, Bonnie Rodriguez left a comment. I love your eyeliner and I'm wearing it again today. It's the Juvia's Place Afrogalactic Eyeliner and... Uh, the shade in that video is Metaverse, but they have four different shades and I picked them all up and yeah, so they're kind of fun. I'll do a little swatch, but you know what? I'm terrible with like eyeliner cause I'm just not very precise, but this one has a really nice um, paint brush on the end of it. So for me, it makes it easy to apply it and it doesn't end up looking super messy. It doesn't end up flaking either. So I was pretty impressed with it. So, and my friend uh, also is, ordered it after she saw it so yeah so and they're not terribly expensive I think they're 15 bucks so compared to other brands they'd probably be what 25 30 bucks so anyway uh okay let's see oh next up uh I talked about 
uh, cameraman had some issue at a restaurant a couple weeks ago. And he was there with a group of friends. Some of them were elderly and there were children screaming. And they were screaming at the elderly people. A lot of them had hearing aids, which I think bothered them. And then the restaurant manager came and like basically like told the elderly people to leave and that the kids could stay there. So cameraman left and then everybody followed and left. So they kind of said, yeah, I totally get this. Children learn by example. And uh, yeah, so and then her sisters wear hearing aids and loud noises especially tend to bother them. So yeah, so he said, thank you for having the courage to stand behind your convictions. And said the num numbers in number five toner sounds wonderful. Uh, okay, next up, Jess was commenting also about the Can Make Mermaid video. She has rosacea and thought the green would work best for her, but it made her look sick. The purple was decent, but she ended up liking the clear the best and also had very good luck with the Roto Skin Aqua Tone Up UV Essence Happiness Aura SPF 50. So it gives her a beautiful, natural, rosy, and dewy glow. So something worth checking out if you have rosacea. Roto Skin Aqua Tone Up UV Essence Happiness Aura SPF 50. That's a mouthful. <laughs> okay, a couple more left. Okay, uh, SF Cat, good video. Could you please ask, answer the question? And she mentioned I didn't have, to have a chance to get back to her, so I apologize. About the Niche Beauty Lab sunscreens. And uh, so Niche Beauty has three brands, um, Acnamy, Transparent Lab, and then uh, Theramid. And... Their sunscreen, my favorite uh, sunscreen, their transparent sunscreen. It's really nice. Ike is now sleeping. He's his little feeder. He must be having a dream. He's chasing Lincoln or something. I don't know. Or eating, probably. So this one is really nice. So this is their transparent uh, sunscreen. Water and sweat resistant, anti-pollution, alcohol-free, fragrance-free, SPF 50, PPD 33. And I'll review this one as soon as possible. But this one's really quite nice. Uh, I think it's my second bottle of it. So I think I gave the other one to my friend. But anyway, so this one's really nice. So it's got a really nice lotiony texture. It smooths into skin really nicely. It's got some good filters in there. And once it soaks in, it feels really nice and light on skin and transparent. It's got great filters in it. So definitely will review this ASAP as soon as I can. So check it out. Bottle's huge too. And I just knocked over an entire box of stuff. Huh. He likes to make his presents enough. Jesus. Right. Yeah, so this is 100 milliliters. It's 3.4 ounces, so it's a huge bottle. Okay, let's see. Uh, somebody mentioned that Mad Hippie reformulated their retinoid vitamin A serum that now has three retinoids and bakuchiel in it now, so I'm excited about that. Uh, somebody said, if you would choose the kale above the theramid, can you tell me why the preference for the kale? Uh, what is there better or more of in the kale? So uh, it was products. If I only had to pick seven products, what would I use? And I love these two products. These are absolutely wonderful. What I think is if I'm going to use this in a daytime product or my skin is feeling super hydrated, I really like the theramid for that. If my skin is feeling dry or if it's something I want to use at the end of the routine, I end up really enjoying the Kale uh, Copper Amino Lipid from uh, Niode. And I wasn't expecting that because the, the first tube of this I had, I didn't like it. But now I find it's got a really nice, just pleasant, hydrating texture to it. It's pretty expensive. Uh, they're both wonderful. If I can get it on sale and the price wasn't a matter, an issue, I really like this one because it just, the texture of it is a little bit more hydrating for my dry skin. The Theramid Lab is great too. You can't really go wrong with either of them, but I thought I would mention that. So they're both great. They, the Theramid has a little bit more copper peptides uh, and it's a little more affordable, but absolutely wonderful. If you have drier skin, the kale is probably more friendly. If you have oilier skin, the Theramid is probably the go-to, but they're both absolutely wonderful. You can't go wrong with either of them. Uh, okay, let's see. Oh, Tim said, somebody mentioned in a previous video about the finish. It leaves on skin. They're talking about the beauty of Josen um, toner. And uh, so they're very happy. They like a natural finish that's not shiny. And then they also uh, mentioned that they finally ordered the Neogen High R Exosome Cream. Um, and they're amazing. Uh, that cream is amazing. The Neogen High R Exosome Cream. It hasn't got a lot of comments or hype or anything, but it's amazing. It's like 10 bucks. 
and it's full of awesome ingredients. The texture is wonderful. If you like the Drunk Elephant, it's the $10 version, and it's actually, in my opinion, got a little bit more beneficial ingredients. I actually end up liking the texture of it a little bit better, so. Um, okay, RCCC said, Anua has a new milky rice toner, which seems to be very popular these days. There's lots of new milky rice toners. And then uh, Jelena says, she believes Beauty of Josen is listed in ingredients by new laws. Uh, in my versus video, I did a versus of these two. And perhaps the ingredient list might be uh, different now versus these new laws. So uh, uh, worth considering. Ike did all of that and then he just left. So I don't know why. Uh, if I looked at these based on uh, the ingredient list being under the new law, I think I'd still end up liking the I'm From a little bit more. And then a lot of other people notice that the I'm From used to come in a glass bottle. Now it's in a plastic bottle. It felt so foreign when I got my last repurchase of it. I couldn't put my finger on why. It's the plastic bottle. It's just different. So I don't know. Um, okay, so Jean said... Uh, if you could only take one face sunscreen with you on a Florida beach vacation, which one would it be? And I have a hard time picking just one. I remember when I went to Puerto Rico with my friend. I don't know. We ended up, we have another friend that lives down there. So we ordered like 10 of them and had them shipped to her house. So we didn't have to bring them all. But if I'm picking just one, hands down, La Roche Posay UV Mune, the European version that is untinted and unscented, hands down every day of the week. This is it. I love it. And it's light and feeling and really nice. Okay, a couple more. And then I'm almost wrapped up. Uh, okay, Sani, Sanizaz says, Hi Sarah, can you recommend a mineral sunscreen or chemical that's good for summer, dries down, doesn't sit on skin like some do and they prefer mineral? Um, these are going to be my two picks. I really forgot how much I really enjoyed the Naked Sunday Mineral Collagen one. And I also really enjoy um, the Neutrogena Tinted Mineral UV Sunscreen. I think they have four different tints. These two are wonderful. Um, Elta MD Sport also has some really nice sunscreens that are really nice and have a matte finish. So uh, those will be a couple picks, but let me know what you guys think for mineral sunscreens. It's not typically my, um, typically not, not, typically not right in my back pocket because I typically end up liking chemical a bit more, but there's so many great mineral ones or the, um, the Tatcha Silk Sunscreen is great, but the Tatcha one in the blue bottle, that's, I think, a hybrid, too, and that one's pretty friendly if you don't like a shiny finish, too. So, let's see. Uh, okay, Leah D. asked, is that Ozempic? And uh, no, not Ozempic, but there's a lot of interesting things about Ozempic face. I've been working on, leave a comment with your thoughts on Ozempic, I guess. I don't know. It's Camera. In it's in the newsletter, yeah. So, yeah, so, no, I've been working on losing weight for about two years now. It's really up until last um, year, it's started to come off a little bit quicker now. Uh, once my once I was starting to lose a little bit of weight, my back would hurt a little bit less, and I could exercise a little bit more and quit drinking pop, which was a huge thing because, oh, man, I, I just love pop. Once I'd have one, I'd need, like, five of them. And before you knew it, that's your entire daily caloric intake without doing anything else, and then... Sweets at night, I cut out a lot of them, so it's kind of sad, but I sleep better, and I find if I exercise, I sleep much, much better at night, and then I'm not up snacking all night, so it's kind of like a circular thing there. Uh, and then we've got Kayland said, have you tried any skincare from their brand Tear Tear? And a lot of people were, um, if Tear Tear works for you, you've got products from them that work for you, that's awesome, that's great. I think a lot of us kind of became concerned about the brand when they're gifting ten thousand plus dollar purses to influencers it's one thing to gift your product to them but it's another thing to gift you a ten birkin ten thousand dollar birkin purse that's just that's just a whole nother level i'm sure this happens with other brands but the fact that they publicized it just seemed gross to me i guess um so yeah, i kind of lost almost any trust i had in the brand with that you know what i mean yeah, it's a lot of money. Leave your thoughts. I don't know. Uh, okay, Marion Allen said, moisturizing toners video. I love the new Ilia one, so I haven't tried that one. I'm going to have to check that out. And then Gate Girl says, the Revive Serum would be in my top three. It's amazing for rosacea, so that's my top uh, seven products that I love. So that one's the dupe for the Skin Medica TNS Serum, which is also wonderful. So 
anyway, just kind of random thoughts from you guys, which is very helpful. You guys always have more information than sometimes I know about a lot of things going on. So anyway, if you like this video, let me know and I'll do more of them. If you didn't like it, let me know too. Constructive criticism is always a good thing. So, or just Chris criticism. <laughs> if it's constructive, that's usually better. Anyway, uh, thanks so much, guys. I will see you more tomorrow.